Um, mm-hmm. So it's exciting times. Head over there and support us. That would be amazing and, and mean a lot to us. We've also got the exciting announcement, James, of a editor uh, that has joined the team at As Always mm-hmm. Entertainment, and they are editing this podcast that you are watching and listening to right now. That is Josh J. Anderson, um, good friend of the show and community, and now a member of the As Always Entertainment family. Uh, he's also the editor for yeah. Robin Gaming, one of our um, favorite guests on the show. Mm. So that's exciting. Bit of a, I just hit my mic, but that's a, that's me. A little clap. Oh, yeah. for Josh. Well, thank you, James. Um, and now uh, James shouldn't want to hang himself, so that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's good. How was it last time not having to? Because um, this would be the second show he's editing. Um, mm-hmm. How was it to not have to edit? the show last time had oh it was feel. you know it was great you know i could it could have been helped by walsh getting his fucking video up without me having to you know chase him up but that's all right and, and that's even right. when he got it and even when he got it up disaster of video <laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> what but it spawns the disaster. best meme i've ever seen okay maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration but i really liked that's it a, why she is great and i'm really happy it exists um oh dude because it's just so funny like the whole podcast, he's just unnecessarily wide, like obnoxiously wide. As soon as so I saw brilliant. it, and I went back to check all the clips, and Joe's is great, and obviously yours and mine, are, as as always. Mm-hmm. And then I see Walsh's, and I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? How did you fucking manage that? The biggest opportunity oh, it's so dumb. Of, of his entire career. And he made Waichi. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. I just don't get how you would mess that up. Just you need but it also, in fucking sixteen by nine, and then you're set, and it should be good. I, <laughs> how fun! How funny was it though, when we were setting up the show, and he was struggling to get his webcam looking normal. <laughs> like we were waiting ages for him to sort out his webcam <laughs> and get everything sorted. Yeah. And then when he finally did, I was like, I don't think he did. <laughs> yeah, he's I like, he's like, oh, I got it, guys. <laughs> but on his end, he's just looking at him, but wide. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, don't worry, yeah. I got it, I got it, guys. He, he did not sound confident when he said he was ready, but I was like, I guess so. Oh, uh, it's, it's funny. Like... Uh, it's, it's no big deal. But it just goes to show, I had a tear in my eye when uh, Connor, who runs Random Side Quest, he goes, fellow Horizon YouTuber and content creator. I'm like, it's the first time anyone's called me something that's not an Assassin's Creed YouTuber. Yeah. Must be great. Yeah. How does it feel? Have you ever been called anything else but an Assassin's Creed YouTuber before, James? Uh, a racist. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't feel too great. <laughs> Ah, shit. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Why are you such a piece of shit, James? I don't, I don't know. It. I don't know. Yeah. I don't get it either. Why can't... I don't know. Why can't you? everyone just like you? Mm. I don't know. That'd be ideal, to be honest. <laughs> I'm sure I'm the most likable person. I feel like so it's I really part of your charm. It. I really don't. You're the most, like, controversial... Assassin's Creed Ubisoft oh, personality so ever that's of all time. Epic. Yeah, yeah, that's, I think that's, that's your, without debate, yeah. That's your claim to fame. Yeah, it's the stupidest thing ever. It's what your life will be remembered for. Most controversial most AC people. YouTuber. Yeah, no, not by, even by AC YouTuber. By a mile as well. Ubisoft personality, most controversial. Actually, mm. you were until two months ago. So, um, <laughs> now it's... You're like seventh now. It's like one. Yeah, oh, that's a shame. In, in two months, yeah, I was about to say, your claim to fame was the most controversial Ubisoft per- and Assassin's Creed personality. And now, you, honestly, you might not even be in the top ten anymore. And that's yeah, that's why, a shame. And I, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna reach that point either, because I'm just not that much of a piece of shit, the, unfortunately. True, and I definitely hope you don't reach that ever. Yeah, I hope so. Um, I, I could probably make that promise. I think. Um, well, you, if you could make me that promise, that'd be great, because I'm kind of pretty invested yeah. in you. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And have been for 
like a large percentage of my life. So, yeah. And I say this because I don't think Horizon gets enough credit. Because everyone's been talking, and we'll get on to DC uh, and and these new Suicide Squad, Gotham Knights, and all this shit. And how much people are now mad. Like, I've, I saw so many people today saying how they wish Witcher 3 didn't exist because every fucking game's trying to copy it. Mm-hmm. You cannot just blame The Witcher 3 for this. Horizon deserves almost, not as much, but almost as much credit as The Witcher 3 does. And I say this because Horizon was the next game to do what The Witcher 3 did, and it was two for two. Because it wasn't... The Witcher 3 yeah, nailed you see. it. And then Horizon came in, also nailed it. And you're like, this is how we do games now. It wouldn't yeah, have it happened if it was can... just The Witcher 3. You can't just blame The Witcher 3. It happened because it mm. happened more than once. And they're like, everyone. it can work for everything, I guess. Everything yeah, can work this way. Yeah. You also have Mass Effect Andromeda, which did the same thing. I mean, that game flopped horrifically, but they yeah. still did it. Um, but yeah, Horizon showed that you can you can do a Witcher 3 game and you can succeed doing it and people will love it. Um, yeah. And then you got Assassin's Creed comes out and they're fucking doing bits, um, the even though they're terrible, but, you know, um, yeah. that's you we know, all liked what Origins they're doing. The and, we yeah, I mean, I still time. like components of Origins, but so I think I. I think what I, I think with Origins, because people keep asking me all the time, why do you hate Origins? I don't hate Origins for a start, but also I think that Origins as a standalone game that exists is a really fun experience but within context of the recent years of assassin's creed it really I, it bothers me because we've had odyssey and then we've had valhalla and before that was origins and i'm like oh, i'm like i'm so sick of this i can't appreciate origins anymore um i might be able to really appreciate it again down the line but i just feel like it's just started what was a horrible descent into fucking madness for assassin's creed but um yeah, it's this this RPG direction. Every game now just feels like it needs to throw away its identity to throw in epic loot and XP, damage numbers, stat boosts, gear systems. Like, not every game needs to be like that. It really doesn't. And if your game isn't already centered around that, if you throw that in, it's just going to ruin the experience for a lot of fans and a lot of people playing this game. I know there's a ton of people that will just play every single game that comes out regardless of what it is, but... It just sucks for those people that don't do that, I guess. it's. Uh... But it, it works for some games so well. It works... It worked for The Witcher 3, and Witcher 3 was a trendsetter, and I feel like Horizon just followed suit so soon after, like 18 months later, and just mm-hmm. fucking knocked it out of the park. Yeah. Um, well, that's because The Witcher... I mean, The Witcher was already an RPG, so it lent itself to that really specific formula that they built. And then Horizon yeah. was a new IP, so they could immediately build this game around that formula. But exactly. then when people are trying to then apply it to, like, you try to apply it to Assassin's Creed, you try to apply it to Batman, um, you know, you're doing all this stuff. It's like, what? why? What, what is wrong with what existed? Why do you have to turn it into The Witcher? Why do you have to turn it into an RPG? <laughs> Probably because of the title being, you know, Marvel. Marvel's Avengers is an absolute disaster. Uh, people, <laughs> like that. people really like that. Great title. Um, but yeah, I have had, wow, so many fucking comments. The thing is as well, right, the the like to dislike ratio is still incredibly positive. So you know there's a lot of people that watch this that agreed and just didn't comment. Um, because they're like, yep, yep, I agree with everything you're saying. And then just hit the like button because like, that was a fun time. Um, but then there's so many people that have just like watched it and they're just infuriated they're just seething typing these comments like full yeah. caps like you're a fucking idiot stop making videos you're wrong i'm like jesus fuck I, this is the weirdest hill to die on fucking marvel's yeah. avengers jesus christ it's really not good like i just i don't get it and like even if you enjoy it to defend it this much is insane yeah. to me it's such a fucking pile of shit oh my I, god it's my favorite argument of the whole time of doing youtube anytime anything is as YouTubers and content creators, as people that are critics, but also personalities, that the literal reason we're here doing a podcast right now is to judge shit. And people are like, you can't judge it. It hasn't come out yet. That's the <laughs> dumbest fucking shit I've ever heard. And I've heard it for years. For it's so years. Dumb. Since the day I started doing this shit, I've heard... You can't talk about that. It hasn't come out yet. You're not allowed to have an opinion. What do you want James and I to do on this podcast? So yeah. there was a trailer for Avengers. It hasn't come out yet. So we can't say anything. Uh, <laughs> next on the news We list can't is, think about the it yet. fuck out of here. It's so Get odd. Get the fuck out of here. But people can have positive opinions, though. It. 
but, but that's how okay. Are you to, so you want me to pay for every game because it might be really good. I don't, it doesn't matter about how bad the trailers look. It doesn't matter about <laughs> anyone else's reviews or opinions. It doesn't matter if I played a beta a month before the game's going to come out. No, I'm not allowed to have an opinion. I went and played Odyssey a month before the game came out for eight hours. I played for eight hours. What game... Can you not judge after eight fucking hey, hours? Hey, look, of it really gets good after nine hours. You've Dude, got to actually, how you've got to finish the game wild, to really appreciate how it. How fucking wild is that? That <laughs> all the comments are like, you. That's not. You can't say it's a review because you've only played eight hours, dude. So many games are only eight hours. Spider Man PS4 is eight <laughs> hours long. It's not even eight hours long. That's the oh, whole game, and you're telling me I'm not allowed to have an opinion about it? Wild. You've played a beta for how long? What an hour? Two hours? Yeah. What do you mean you're not allowed to have an opinion? How long should I have to play a game for to know if it's a pile of steaming shit or not? It's, it's one thing so to be like, odd. I'm not sure. Like, Ghost of Tsushima, I'm like, oh, right now it's an 8.5, and I played more of it. I'm like, oh, now it's a 9. That's the subtle changes you're going to have in a game. But you're not going to go from, it's a steaming pile of shit to, wow, what a great game. That's not <laughs> happening. You know after an hour. You fucking know it. Yeah, you the know. base systems in the game, the way it plays, the way it feels, the way it's structured, the way the dialogue's written, is so shit. It's not going to suddenly drastically improve. They didn't make the prologue play like shit, did they? They didn't go, you know what, we need the first two hours, I reckon it should play like a PlayStation 2 game. And not just that, a bad play PlayStation 2 game. But after that, I reckon we should make a polished AAA experience. Just to fake them out, just to mess with them a little bit. That's not the fucking case. If it's shit when you play the first two hours, the whole thing is going to play like shit. The gear system isn't suddenly going to become a balanced and fun experience. I just... I don't get it. I don't get it. 